I'm Johnny with Balloon Animals Palm Beach and today I'm going to show you how to make a wearable balloon head that reminds people of DJ Marshmallow. You will need 30. That's three zero six inch white quick links, four black five inch rounds, one black 260, one black 350. Grab your white six inch quick link and inflate it pretty much all the way. So that is for me about a 14 finger bubble. It's more than a handful almost the size of my head. You're going to take six of these and inflate them the exact same and then tie them together. Now when you tie them together you want to make sure that you're tying them really close together. So you want to wrap the two um, ends that you're tying together really tight. Um, so you want to pull it really tight together when you tie it. You don't want there to be gaps. If at all possible, not much of a gap. When you have six, then you just tie the two ends together to make a circle. Hopefully this will fit over your head. If it doesn't fit over your head, you're probably going to want to adjust the size. Add another one of these. Alright, so keep going. You're going to make two more of these. So you have three all together. Now you have three rings, you're going to attach these together using some other quick links. Now you're going to create the connectors to connect all three of these together. Grab your next white six inch quick link and you're going to inflate it so you just have about eight fingers of inflated balloon. Grab another one, do the same. Tie these two together. Nice and tight, don't leave a gap in between. So now you're going to take <clears throat> one end and tie it to one connection on a ring. Grab your next ring, pick a connection. You're going to twist it into the connection between these two smaller quick links. So you just one the loose quickly and wrap it around. So you've got these two rings now. And you have one last quick link that's not connected to anything. You're going to take this tail and attach it to the third ring. connected by two quick links. You're going to do that at every single one of these junctions. It might be easier for you when you take your next connector if you're concerned about losing track of what's where and what's what because they move around. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to just stack the three rings on your arm or your head or somebody else. So here's your connector. And you can see each of the segments is lining up. Right, we got a connected and connected. You can line them up and you can find from this side what is the opposite connection and tie there. 
if you're concerned about keeping track. So for instance, you take your first ring, I'm tied here, so the one right across, see there's two in between, would be this one. So I take my two, tie the tail on, this is the middle, I know because Here's my ring connected here. The other end of this balloon is connected to this one. Two connections, two connections. So this is the middle. So I twist this bubble around the middle. And now this ring's on its own. So I'm already connected here. Two connections. This is the opposite side. Take this tail, tie it in. By the way, there's something really important that you need to know before you wear this. I'll tell you at the end. So now you just want to put two quick links as a connector at every one of these junctions. So I've got two there. I'm going to add another right here. Tie one into the bottom ring, twist the top, pull one around the middle ring, tie the last tail to the top ring. So I've got connections all the way around. This is the only one missing one. So I'm gonna put in my last one. And that's your 30 quick links. You're ready for the eyes and mouth. Grab your black 260 and inflate it so you have a six finger tail. Make it squishy at one end, a little bit stretched so it's just a bit tapered if at all possible. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, so now you want to attach this black 260. So if I pick any spot where you have the smaller connecting quick links and you have three junctions where everything's tied together, you're gonna to pick the middle one. See, bottom, top, middle. You wanna tie into the middle. And you just wanna stretch your black 260 underneath this next. See, it's tied here, here's this connection. Then there's these two small connectors, and then these two. So it's going underneath the bottom connector, above this one, and tied in here. And you wanna save this, we're gonna use it. So that's the mouse. Let's make the eyes. Grab your black five inch round and inflate it to about an eight finger bubble. Grab your next black five inch round, inflate it the same amount. You wanna tie these two together. This is gonna be for one eye. Grab your other black five inch round, inflate it the same as the others. Grab your fourth black five inch round, inflate it the same as the other three. Tie these two black five inch rounds together. Grab your black 350 and inflate it so you have about a 12, 13 finger tail. Make a four finger bubble. 
make a second four finger bubble. Now you're just gonna let that twist go, get rid of the extra, save this for the other eye, tie this one off. Now put that twist back in the middle so you have two four finger bubbles. You're gonna take these two bubbles and you're gonna twist them around these two black five inch rounds. So that creates one eyeball. Let's create the other. Grab your black 350 scrap and inflate it so you have about a five finger tail. Make a four finger bubble. Make another four finger bubble. Now you can let that go, get rid of the extra. Tie that off. Put the twist back in. So you have two four finger bubbles. So now you're gonna take and twist that onto the two five inch rounds. Now you have your second eye. Now we're gonna create the attachment. So grab your black 260 and divide it in half. Cut it in half, your black 260 scrap. And I tied a knot in the one that had a hole on both sides. I'm just gonna give it a puff there. So I have about a six finger bubble. I'm gonna take the tail. I'm gonna tie it around the middle of this eye. So that's the front of the eye and that's the back. Now I can take this and just push it into this gap right here. And then the tension holds that eye in place. You can see that just that little black bubble sticks in, inside there. So let's do the other eye. Grab your last black 260 scrap. Make sure you have enough tail to tie onto the eye and just tie it on. Tuck this bubble into this gap here. If you're concerned about making sure the eyes stay in, you can just, you know, tie these two together. You can trim off these extra little nozzles. about this uh, this DJ Marshmallow head. Here's the thing you need to know before you wear this. It is almost impossible to see out of, so you can either see what it's like to be blind and gain a lot of empathy for people who don't have sight while you wear this, or you can just wear it and dance. <laughs> Just don't ever move from your spot and try not to have any really wild arm movements. <laughs> or lastly, you can just carry it with you like you're reenacting the moment where DJ Marshmallow reveals his true identity. Let me show you. You can just spend the whole night going... Because people really love it when you just keep saying the same dumb joke over and over again. They love that. Okay, a couple modifications. Sometimes um, somebody wants to close in the top of the head, in which case you'll need some white 260s. Two or three should do it, depending on how you've made this and how you connect. Grab your white 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight finger tail. Take the nozzle attach it to one of the connection points, just tie it on, 
and then you're just going to draw it across. So about an eight finger bubble, make a twist. It might be a little bit less. Another eight finger bubble. See, I'm bringing it across to the exact opposite point where I'm going to tie it on. I cut the balloon off and I'm saving this piece. Tie this onto the opposite side. Now I'm going to take this scrap, tie it onto the next connector, draw it across, just about an eight finger bubble, and I'm going to twist that into the other 260 by just rolling the balloon around. Now I'm going to go ahead and tie that into the connection on the opposite side. So I was able to do that with one 260. I'm going to grab my next white 260 and inflate it so you have about an eight to nine finger tail. Take the nozzle and tie it into the last connection that doesn't have a white 260 attached to it. Draw it across the top, twist it into the other 260s by just pushing it down inside, wrapping it around, pulling it back up, and then bring it across to the opposite connection point. Get rid of the extra. Tie this in to the opposite connection point from where you started. So now it has a top if you want it to have a top. Most of the time you really don't need one. And if you feel like you just really need to fill in more gaps, you can grab some white five inch rounds. You're gonna inflate them to about two inches in diameter or two fingers and you can put two at every connection point. Okay, so you could also add two little balloons at every one of these connection points if you want. That's what it's gonna look like if you do. I personally prefer the shape without them, so I don't put those in. But if you like them, then you're going to need 36 of the five inch rounds to add to your design. And that is how you make a wearable balloon that reminds people of DJ Marshmallow's head. Feel free to leave me comments or feedback below, or you can subscribe to my channel. I do release videos on a regular basis, or you can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, or my website, Balloon Animals Palm Beach.